Hey guys, it was very rushed when I make this hot pot video number two, but I have a little more time for a friendology, and it's gonna be a short one because the goal is to show you what kind of videos you should watch and why they matter, and provide some insight for future. It's not for you to listen to me analyzing this in great detail, so I can definitely go on and on. I made this nifty chart for you. I think these four words are the core concepts that are very important in the realm of friendology when it comes to Guojun Yixiao. First one is in Sichuan, colloquial Sichuanese is Shua Peng Yu, Shua Peng Yu, which means we're dating. It's very informal, but it's nice. Everybody uses it all the time. And the other one you have probably recall is Xiao Peng Yu, and Didi got offended when called Xiao Peng Yu. Um, and then we have we're just friends or friends, and then we have boyfriend. And super quick, if you stop watching right now, your takeaway is Xiao Peng Yu means we date. Um, Xiao Peng Yu means um, do not call me that when we date. And Nan Peng Yu means we date, but it's too formal. Uh, 只是朋友 means we date, but we can't tell you. We can only tell the tabloid and paparazzi that that's what it is. So as you know, like, uh, oh, actually, um, so when I first kind of freaked out, had a mini freak out before the hot pot thing, it was a while back when Ventus told me that uh, Google referred to bring friends and family to Europe. Well, um, Asian, Chinese Americans, Chinese, we're very reserved and we're very nucleus family heavy. We don't usually just bring family and friends over to an expensive trip to Europe. It's either family or friends, not family and friends, friends. Um, so usually it's like bring a friend over into your house. Sometimes it's like, hey, me and my boyfriend. So 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 why did I freak out when um you know? Google said friend is because we don't really call our guy friends or girlfriend like female friends friends. We call them sisters and bros, gummer, shown the D word and except etc. And we call our real siblings just like single character G D or go or D. Do we ever call other people G G D D? No, that sounds kind of flirty actually. That's probably super flirty. Um and you know, you can bet that Asian girl guys are super reserved and they do not tell other guys they love them. <laughs> so I think it's pretty funny. Uh so 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 why don't we call uh our real dates like Nam Yo, like boyfriend? It's because we actually like it's much more trendier to call your boyfriend Nam Tiao or Ba like Korean style or Lao Gong, which is Chinese for hubby. Um so you don't you still don't call them friends. Um this uh, Chinese girl band, number one girl band back then, SHE's Ella said, you only uh, say your friends because you don't want the mate, you don't want the media to know you're dating. So she called her fiance friend for like a super long time. Uh, last but not least, like why is Xiao Peng Yu so offensive, right? And here I will explain it. Um, but yeah, you do not want to be um, called by your date, you're a Xiao Peng Yu. That's just wrong. So why is Didi so offended when being called Xiao Peng Yu, my little friend? Last time I checked on Weibo, which is the Chinese Twitter, for his birthday, everybody call him Wang Yibo, Xiao Peng Yu, Shen Kuai Le. It's endearing, it's cute, from the senpai that you do not love. And when the senpai you love call you Xiao Peng Yu, that implies immature, too young to date, naive. You don't want that. Just no. This last section is completely optional. I'm just gonna put on some of the questions together and answer them. First of all, do we call friend 朋友? Not really, maybe only BFFs. Is it okay to call your hobby 哥哥? Totally. Is it okay to call your hobby 弟弟? And it's a little strange, it's kinda like 小朋友. You probably call something else, like you still call like some kind of brotherly figure, like opa, nan piao, hubby, or like uh, lao gong, or even like ye, which is like kind of funny, it's like a senior prefix. Uh, why is Xiao Peng Yu offensive? It's the equivalent of a friend zone, implies immature, way too young to date, cannot can be endearing if from an elderly person, but not in a relationship. Is age gap important? I think you should watch like quite a few videos. I will link to one below. 
And Gugu looked concerned as as if he offended Didi when Didi objected, being called 小朋友 Age is a big deal in China in Asia. I think anywhere about three to five years is considered a little different. Um, the Chinese idiom. 年龄相仿 talks about exactly this is 年龄相仿门当户对 Do Chinese guys tell other guys they love them? Nope. And the title here is 战哥弟弟爱你 Um, nope. They do not say that. Do guys say? And actually, if you go back to watch that video, Xiao Zhan made the pretend to barf look, and he. It, it looks like he was like sticking his tongue out, but I think it's like he's like pretending to barf. And when people say that, oh, well, I need because we're such reserved people, we don't really say that. We don't say I love you very often. So it was actually super cute. I I think that was like really really cute. Do guys say? Do do guys say their serious GF is just a friend? I think all the time, especially when they're introducing the friend to parents. Is it easy to convert other Chinese to Sichuanese style? 有点算你 No, not really. Mahjong is very popular outside southwestern China. Most people think garlic is too smelly, too pungent.、Uh, sesame oil is too oily. Celebrities need to watch their weight, and garlic can be spicy. So I don't think so. Um,、uh, do you eat mahjong? Hell no. Uh, not even when it's free. I'm a yodie da suan person, so sesame oil and garlic all the way. My friend eats mahjong all the time. I'm surprised that Gugu likes mahjong. Now, I think that's very crazy. Um, do you convert to your loved one's cuisine? Yes, all the time. Chinese idiom, uh, ai wu ji wu covers this. Love someone so much like the crow on his roof. Uh, crow and roof sounds very similar in Chinese. It's a similar sounding pun. Is it common to see hot pot on mainstream media prior to this? Nope. I think Didi is trying really hard to market hot pot right now.